people are so vulgar in their methods. They lack compassion. I do not know who you are yet, but I will. Take him and clean him up. There's nothing worse than a dull knife. So we'll get that taken care of first. Separate the coconut from the husk. Being careful not to slip and run the razor sharp knife into your hand. Because of course you always cut towards yourself, right? Since the blender is not really of the highest quality, I have to reduce the size of the pieces down so the blender can handle it without burning up. Next we'll put in a little watermelon, 95% water with some minerals and vitamins and of course the sweetness. Come to think of it, it actually might make a little bit more sense to put the watermelon in first as to give the blender a little bit of base before it starts rasping in on the coconut. But too late. Ah, uh, papaya. Papaya. What to say? I get those seeds in there. Never throw the seeds out. Up to this point, I know what you're probably thinking. This guy's just throwing stuff in the blender. Mm, yeah, pretty much. Unsweetened 100% cocoa powder. Why don't you let me fix you some of this new Mococo drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua, no artificial sweeteners. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? I've tasted other cocos. This is the best. What the hell does this have to do with anything? Tell me what's happening! Well, you're having a nervous breakdown. That's what's happening. You're part of this, aren't you? About one tablespoon. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. It's causing problems. Ooh. Almond milk. All this is blending, I guess. I know we've heard it time and time again and dismiss it just as often. We are what we eat. So then wouldn't it make sense 
that that would be targeted first and foremost if one was interested in tinkering with how we work? Do you ever wonder why it is that the food we get that's been pre-made or prepared is loaded up with sugar, salt, milk, and oil? Like everything? None of my food contains any of that stuff, and it's perfectly edible. So why does all the prepared food insist on having those ingredients? I'm not a pessimist, but it seems like a wrench in your system. If you try and make an argument to people about eating plant-based, mostly raw diet, they always come back and say that if they eat that way, they just don't feel satisfied. Well, all I can say is as an ex-smoker, when I wasn't smoking, I didn't feel totally satisfied. It wasn't until after the addiction was broken, I was able to enjoy the satisfaction of just being without cigarettes. Well, with all honesty, I went through almost the exact same experience with food, especially dairy products. <laughs> Frozen bananas, absolutely critical to the taste and texture of the smoothie. So the conclusion through personal immediate experience is that foods are as addictive as drugs. And when you find yourself craving or in a withdrawal of some sort, and these are a clear indicator you're into something that you oughtn't to be. Yeah, no, this isn't over yet. There's more stuff to go in. Cooked last night, a mixture of white, red, brown, black rice. We're in Asia here. Rice. Mm. If you can target these culprit items, a little hint, sugar, meat, dairy, salt, oil, your emotional food roller coaster will end and an unfound sense of freedom will manifest. No joke. What? You can put more? Oh, yeah. Rolled oats. Fortification. Not quick cook. Rolled. The blender is barely taking it now. It's laboring. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. But I guess you have to try for yourself at home to find out. It's got a lot of flavor. Good consistency. Breakfast. What's troubling you, Lincoln? Well, it's, it's just... All right, why can't I have bacon? I line up every morning, and I'm not allowed any bacon for my breakfast. <laughs> oh. mm. Once I get going, I just can't stop me. Where was I? Yeah, I'm just babbling about health and stuff. And keep pulling this out occasionally because, well, let's talk about it. Let's just go through and talk about it. This isn't working. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, from what I can gather, that hearing through the grapevine and I don't watch the news, I can't handle it. It's, it makes me actually feel sick because it's so, uh, it's so dumb, it's so stupid. I just can't feel, it's like my IQ is just, not that it's that high anyways, but it feels like it's plummeting further. The more I try to watch it and figure out what they're even talking about, it's uh, ridiculous. So, it's, uh so that there's no reason, there's no fucking reason why... Story, Donnie? What? Were you listening to the dude's story? I was bowling. So you have no frame of reference. You're like a child who wanders into the Walter, middle of a movie and wants what, to know... Walter, what's the point, man? There's no reason. Here's my point, dude. There's no fucking reason why these... Yeah, Walter, what's your point? Huh? Walter, what is the point? Look, we all know who is at fault here. What the fuck are you talking about? Huh? No, what the fuck are you... I'm not... We're talking about unchecked aggression here, What the dude. fuck is he talking My about? My rug. Forget Look. it, Donnie. You're out of your element. I'm talking about drawing a line in the sand, dude. Across this line, you do not. All these measures obviously aren't working. <laughs> Why would they? Um, 
So the next thing that they want to pull out of their back pocket is this vaccine program. And, uh, well, my question is, uh, what was the form that we filled out? Uh, is it on your driver's license or a donor card of some sort where you sign off when you're, when you, whatever happens, you get an accident, you're killed. I think they could use your organs if they're hot and fresh and you could grab your kidney and put it in someone else. I don't know how that. An organ donor card is a great way to show you're committed to saving lives. You can carry your card in your purse or wallet as a symbol of your decision to help others. However, you don't need to carry an organ donor card for your organs to be donated. Medical staff will always consult the NHS organ donor register if your organs can be used to help others when you die. Before the removal of organs takes place, we ask your family to support your decision to donate and to provide important information about you. So if you are signed up as a donor and have a donor card, please remember to tell your family. Let them know that you want them to help honor your decision to donate when you die. My point is, uh, with the vaccine thing that's coming and some words like mandatory have been thrown around, well, the thing is I'm not dead. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I have not donated any organs or any of my body to science yet. I'm, am I going to be forced to be a donor while I'm still alive? An organ donor to science? Well, I'm in the living. I don't know. That seems pretty... A piece of meat, a laboratory experiment. Black holes, quasars, quarks, gluons, string theory. Colorful names. We've worked tirelessly making this shit up to make a base for your reality. Confirm. Over. <laughs> Possible harm can that cause? Fuck you. 